It's been a long time coming, but the latest title in the Legendary franchise is here with the arrival of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Fans have waited patiently for over 5 years, which is the longest gap between installments within the series' history. As the months approached closer to the eve of the game's release, the hype grew sky high. Will this be another legacy for our hero on green tights, or is the series on the verge of its decline? The story begins with our hero Link awoken from his peaceful slumber with the delivery of a letter from his childhood friend Zelda. The contents of the letter remind Link of the upcoming wing ceremony and that he should meet up with Zelda to help prepare for this annual event. The wing ceremony is one of the tests involved to graduate as a Knight of Skyloft. After Link is successful in the ceremony, Zelda proposes they fly the skies on their loft wings. However, this sentimental moment is ended quickly as a mysterious black tornado appears, knocking Zelda off her loft wing and falling to the unfamiliar land below the clouds. Link attempts to save Zelda, but he is unsuccessful. Link heads back to Skyloft to suit up in his graduate knight uniform and skydives to the Uncharted Lands below to locate his missing friend, though he soon discovers his overall mission isn't quite that simple. One of the most notable features in Skyward Sword are the quality of its sword controls. Unlike previous experiments with motion controls, waggling the Wii Remote is ineffective. All swings of the controller are registered and replicated on screen the same way they were performed by the player. Players must carefully survey their opponent's movements and angle their sword strikes accordingly. The sword controls are so effective, it's quite possible they could become the norm of the series, which isn't a bad thing. Skyward Sword has many other new changes from previous Zelda titles. For example, save points are now replaced by bird statues, which function both as a means to save the player's progress and a waypoint to warp back to the skies above. The new stamina meter affects Link's physical endurance in activities such as running, climbing, and powerful sword swings like the spin attack. Furthermore, classic items make a return, but contain new twists. For example, you can now roll bombs, and pick up and pocket bomb flowers to replenish your empty bomb bag. Newly introduced gadgets such as the beetle can be used to help explore new areas, pick up out of reach items, and cut through various objects. Puzzles are no longer confined to dungeons exclusively. Overlook things in previous entries such as enemies, boss keys, and getting into the dungeons all requires some degree of puzzle solving. This is definitely one of the most challenging Zelda titles in recent memory. Some puzzles are devilishly devious and will place hidden switches in the places players would least expect them. However, Skyward Sword's most prominent flaw is that some of its inclusions feel overused only for the purpose of extending the game's length, such as recycled boss battles. Graphically, Skyward Sword supports the stylings of both the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess, which looks great on the Wii's dated architecture and capabilities. The different worlds contain lush scenery and landscapes such as beautiful lake caverns, molten volcanoes, and sandy wastelands. The music in Skyward Sword is astronomical. 
These new orchestrated tracks will eventually build into your subconsciousness and join the ranks of other classical Zelda melodies and tunes. An orchestrated soundtrack is an absolute must for future installments in the series. Once again, voice acting is absent in another Zelda title. However, somehow Nintendo always manages to breathe life into characters through well-written dialogue, facial expressions, and grunts. This demonstrates that it's still possible to tell a great story in a dated fashion if the implementation is done correctly. Key storytelling components such as comic relief still occur effectively and humor the player without the need of a mouthful of spoken dialogue. <laughs> The main quest will set the average gamer back a lengthy 35 to 40 hours. The greatest part being, this is without the completion of the game's numerous extras. These plethora of bonuses include heart pieces to collect, bugs to capture, items to upgrade, mini games, and even a boss rush mode. There is definitely more than enough content available in this adventure. <laughs> This is certainly one of the largest titles Nintendo has ever produced. It is by no means perfect, but most of the game's flaws do not heavily impact the overall experience. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword earns a perfect score of 5 stars.